There it is. This is Meyerhofen in Austria. If this doesn't look like the quaint Austrian village, I don't know what one would look like. This is in the mountains at about 2,500 feet. We were on the uh, coast with the most earlier, and now we're in the scalps of the Alps. Those go all the way up to about 10,000 feet up there. So there's a couple of ski lifts. One right here that is not running today. And there is one back towards the middle of town that is running. It's about 23 euro to go up and go down. You can also ride the uh, Alpine Coaster, which I am certainly planning to do, uh, but I'm probably not gonna do it today just for the fact that it's kind of wet, kind of nasty, kind of rainy. Um, the hotels around here are about 200 to 250 a night. I got a sweet deal on my Airbnb for only about $36, $37 per night. Uh, it is about two miles down the road, but there's a train that stops right at the bottom of the hill that I'm on and we'll take you the two miles, and it was about a Euro 30. And I normally would have walked it, because it's only about two miles. Um, but it was raining this morning, and I, as I walked down the hill, I got in a little bit damp, and my shoes were a little bit wet, my socks were starting to get wet, so I just wanted to get out of the rain. So I took the train down, and um, got, a, got a cappuccino, let my shoes and socks dry for a little bit. And then about noon, the rain had finally, finally stopped. And it's turned into a, uh, a pretty decent day. It's not warm out by no means. It's probably 60, 62 degrees. I think the high might get to about 68 today. The sun is trying to break through. If you look up above the uh, mountain there, you can see a couple of uh, gliders coming over. So one of the things that you can do if you take the uh, if you take the little cable car up gondola, I guess, uh, is there's like a little fun park up there. So you can do uh, biking and hiking, of course. And one of the things they offer is this uh, gliding. So these guys are coming down. I don't know where they land at. But that's pretty cool, and I don't think that's something that I want to do, but it is kind of cool to see. All these are little restaurants, and it's a town of only about 4,000 people, so heavily, heavily reliant on tourism. Uh, just looking at some of the menus, it looks like most of the meals are probably between 15 and 20 euro for an actual like entree main course. Um, they have not posted beer prices, out on their menu, which is usually a thing that I judge a town on. How cheap is a beer? I imagine it's not going to be inexpensive here just for the fact of uh, they're catering strictly to tourists. We go to the grocery store earlier and that is affordable. You can buy a, a four pack of Pilsner Urquell or uh, local beers, uh, about 75 cents a can. So if you were really had to do it on the cheap, you could certainly go into a grocery store and get everything that you needed. Summertime is the rainiest month here. This is in the Tyrol. Um, yesterday when I got here, I took a train over from Trento and it was a non-stop. Right, I didn't have to change trains, I should say. Um, it did stop a few times. But this is just outside of Innsbruck. So you go Innsbruck and then one more stop um, to Gen Chincheck, maybe? I have to look at that. It's one more stop past Innsbruck. And then uh, you jump on a little local train. And it takes maybe about a half hour to get out here to Meerhofen. Very Alpine-like, huh? 
certainly a change from Italy. Where it was hot, albeit sunny, just about every day. One of the unique things about Europe is every time you cross a border, unlike in the United States, I mean, if you speak English in the U.S., it doesn't matter if you're in California, Arizona, Washington, Florida, Kentucky, New York, wherever. Everybody kind of talks the same language. You might have different accents. But here, Italy, as the crow flies, is probably only 30 miles. Germany, Munich is less than an hour and a half away by car. Now, one thing about Austria and Germany is they both share the same language, so it makes it pretty easy for a German to come into Austria. But an Italian coming into Austria probably doesn't speak a whole lot of German. So every time you cross the border in Europe, sometimes the currency changes. This time it didn't. It's still the Euro. There's a grocery store right there. Um, but you'll see that language change. So it's kind of tough. The, uh, the best rule is to try to learn the 10 important words. Please, thank you. Excuse me. Can I have a beer? Where's the bathroom? If you can learn those, then you can pretty much survive as far as communicating. And a majority of people, if you're an English speaker, we're pretty lucky because that is kind of the linguistic uh, common denominator around the world because it is pretty widely spoken, especially in tourist areas. You'll see, like in this area, I've not really communicated with a lot of people here yet, but you do see a lot of uh, a lot of restaurants and bars here, so I'm certain that English will be uh, rather well spoken. Plus, my Airbnb host sp spoke great English, so I was able to get a little information from Franz, is his name, this morning. He works at a restaurant down here in Meyerhofen, so maybe I'll run into him later. Similar to Germany, Austria is pretty much closed on Sundays, with the exception of uh, restaurants and things like that are running today, but most of your shops and stores and things such as that are not open on Sunday, which is very, very, very similar to most of Germany. Matter of fact, Sunday is kind of the worst time to be a tourist in Germany because just really not a whole lot going on. Being up here in a tourist area, I think, maybe a few more things open today. I'll get myself a cool white hat. Um, maybe more so than, say, in other parts of Austria. Well, this is a little walk through uh, the ski area, Meyerhofen. Hopefully for a little more sunshine. Tomorrow's going to get warm. Uh, from a high of 67 today to a high of 85 tomorrow. But then cooling off back in the 60s the following day. So this is July the 11th. In the middle of the fourth week. Or the early part of the fourth week. 